All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do a quick, uh, well, we'll see how quick, uh, early lineup build for the showdown slate tonight. And uh, it's kind of interesting that we don't even know who's gonna be the quarterback of either team. I think that we can safely say that it's gonna be Drew Locke from Seattle. And I'd like to say that Jalen Hurts is playing and he's traveling with the team. 3,000 miles, uh, so I presume he's expecting to play. Um, we are going to operate under that assumption for now. And again, you know, part of this is to give you guys some experience on how to build these lineups anyway. So if it turns out that we have to redo everything, you still learn something from how to actually handle this. But the first thing we have to do is we have to upload some projections and there's a couple of things we have to change because I don't even think that I have either quarterback for uh, for Seattle projected because there was such a – when I was doing these, there was quite a bit of in, uh, not insecurity, but ignorance uh, of who's going to be started. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload mine and we're going to include the unlisted players. So that means that even though I don't have a uh, projection for Drew Locke, we're going to use the same response. Okay. So the first thing that we have to do when we do this is figure out which guys we're going to want to keep and which guys we're going to want to toss of these guys that are like two points and below. Usually my, my thought is just to keep in everybody. I've just seen too many times a situation where I throw a guy out just thinking, ooh, it's only 0.7. He's had no targets the whole year. But there's a reason it's 0.7 instead of zero, but there is always there's a chance that he can get in there. And in the showdown, when you're trying to win, you know, a lot of money against a lot of people, you have to expand your vision. <laughs> you know, you have to you have to expect the unexpected, sort of. So you try to leave everybody in if possible. So Everybody over one point definitely gets in. The question is stuff like DJ Dallas. I mean, how do you not use him, right? He's only 400. Let's put him at one point just so we don't forget. Now, what do we keep doing with Jack Stoll? Okay, like Jack Stoll, he always seems to get reps, but he just never runs any routes. But is this going to be the game where he gets one? Enough where you want to keep him in. Because here's the problem. If you, I promise you this, if you keep him in, you're going to get him in your lineups. You just are. So what you could do with guys like Grant Calcaterra and you know Jack Stoll, we could leave them in, but at the very beginning, we could limit their exposures. Okay, so we'll limit them to five percent. Is that fair? Is that good enough? Five percent. And then just, you know, because Sabersham likes to do this to you, you have to go back into the captain. I don't want any in the captain. So max exposure in the captain will be zero. Jack stole. And then zero in the captain for Grant Calcutta. Everybody else is open season. Now, I'm not saying we're necessarily playing them, and I'm just saying that they're all going to be in the player pool, right? Um, so I'm just curious how much of these freaking Kobe Parkinson's and Will Disley's are we going to get? So what we do have to do is there's one rule I think I want to make. Maybe max one, Kobe Parkinson and Will Disley. And I don't think I'm going to get both of them. And I really hate to make rules within Saberson because they run, they're running the 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 – the game sims. So if you get a lineup with both of them smashing, why would I not want to use it? So let, let's just leave it. I don't know how we can ever get a lineup with both of them in it, considering there's nobody that great to pay for anyway today. But we'll see. All right. So here's our player pool. And now the first thing we do is we just jam. Okay. Um, we're not going to put in any restrictions yet. We're going to wait until we build the pool size first. And we'll build 5,000 lives. We're going to play 100, 
and we're going to build 5,000. Am I going to have to pause this? Yeah, I'm going to pause this until it, uh, it finishes. All right, so this is the first hundred. Um, and this is, now it's important to know what we're looking at here, right? So now it's just being ranked by the normal Sabre Sim, Sabre score based on single game, whatever, right? So I think that the first thing, again, that you want to do is I do think you want to run the contest sims before you get into any of the, any of the geo mean stuff. I really think that you're supposed to do that first. The other thing to think about is we're playing the slate. And again, this is like a no ball thing. This is not, you know, have anything to do with the projections or anything like that. Before we get to these builds and before we get to this, these ownerships here, like, like Boston Scott and, and Jack Stoll and, and I don't even know about Quez, Kez Watkins and, and, and Zacchaeus, right? Do we get any of him? Let me see something. Where is Zacchaeus? I thought that he was. Um... Oh, I, I didn't get any of it. Before you play guys like that, you know, you got to really think. You know, if in fact Jalen Hurts is going to be traveling three thousand miles, fighting the flu, or whatever he's fighting. I mean, it's going to be because this is a must-win game, and, and how much are they really going to draw stuff up for the for these fourth and fifth string guys i mean you know what i mean like so i don't think that i'm gonna be dumpster diving into the philly pool all that much to the degree where i might actually like x them out even even like julio jones you know what i mean like yeah i mean you could make the case that maybe he gets a long target or something but it's going to be the a the A.J. Brown show. It's going to be the Dallas Goddard show. And it's going to be the Devonta Smith show. And it's going to be the, the DeAndre Swift show and a little bit of great game. That's what it's going to be. This other stuff is just not going to get there. I don't think. But what do I know? I mean, I'm not – I'm trying to come up with, with, with weird outcomes for the showdown slate. Maybe I should just, you know, rely on the Seattle guys for that. That that's really something I might consider. But here, let's do this first. Let's um, let's put these into the contest because we've not done that yet. All right, let's put these in here. So I have to pause for just a second. So we'll save these to here for now, but then again, we're gonna right click and add contest sim. Right click and add contest sim here. I just wanna see what all this looks like. So I'm gonna run these. And let's see what the lottery looks like with the contest sims. Like right now it looks, I would say relatively normal, right? Hertz Brown and Lock and I mean these are like normal guys. A little bit of, of these other scrubs, you know, but not nothing extreme. You have a hundred lineups. I mean, almost all of them have you know Hertz Brown Lock. And, not too much Devante Smith though. That's very interesting. That's a pretty big stance on uh, Hertz Brown. Ooh, eleven percent Lockett. Not too much, if any, Metcalf. Hmm. All right, so let's see what this looks like. Uh, in the Monday night lottery, if we use the contest sims, it looks very similar, you know? You're getting in the captain, mostly A.J. Brown, a little more. Now Metcalf bumps up a little bit, quite a bit actually. But what's interesting again is there's very little quarterback exposure in the captain, which is one of the things I do like about the contest sim structures here. I mean, uh, uh, build sets. And then within the flex, what kind of nonsense do we have? Um, we see not too much. Right? So so this is a really, really nice set that's not going to win you 500 pounds. I'm just saying. Uh, 
or at least a good amount of these lineups are not going to win on a hundred thousand dollars. It is way too, it's just way too chalky, leaving way too much, much money on the table. You know, even though technically they've run a contest sim right, and said, okay, we're going to be comparing them against field lineups and try to give you good ROI. There's still the problem of duplication here, um, which the contest sims have not yet figured out. Um, so uh, what we have to do is figure out what the lineups will look like, the ones that actually can can score for something. So the first thing I want to do is just do a geo mean filter. And, and again, usually I will just go with 19. Right? That's just kind of usually is what makes five dupes or less. But just again, to give you guys a uh, refresher of how to do this. Again, this is my spreadsheet and I've been promising to put this on this the site, but I just haven't been able to yet. I will probably just as you don't need it anymore. So you're putting six players in a showdown lineup. We want only a minimum of say five dupes, max five dupes. And it's a question of how many entries are in this. Now we save the, the contest sim settings with the, um, the data. So we'll be able to see uh, 88,235. So you put in 88,235. And yeah, that's why you get five dupes, geometric meter of that 19 and a half. So we could put that in. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna filter these 5,000 lineups and only select those lineups with a geometric mean of less than 19.5. Just to see what they look like, all right? So first of all, you can get a hundred, which is nice. But I mean, look look at what's going on here. I mean, your first, first lineup right out of the gate is Julio Jones' calendar. So let's see what all this looks like. Um, well, before I even get to captain, in the flex, it looks kind of normal. Like, let's go back to the flex first. Like, all these guys are, I've heard of. You know what I mean? My only issue is perhaps. So as I was saying, like, within the, the, the flex, I mean, you have these guys that I said I didn't want to play. You know, like Boston Scott, 18%. I mean, I tried him in the last game, and he got like one snap, or like looked like maybe two. And is this really where they're going to go in a must-win game? Is the Boston Scott experience, or, or the Julio Jones experience? I, I'm just kind of inclined to spread those, and and 13% Zacchaeus. Zac Zac I'm sort of inclined to just take that exposure and move it to like Jake Bobo, you know for example, or more Will Disley, for that matter, a more Noah Fant or Colby Parkinson. I think that it's more likely that Seattle, you know, has to try some funny business than, uh, than Philadelphia, I think. Within the captain of these geomean filtered lineups, With the captain in these geo-filtered lineups, you're not really getting anything. You know, you know, a little couple of things that you don't want. <laughs> so, so like you said, I'm getting like, how much this uh, Zacchaeus? Not much, only 5%. So actually, this isn't bad. 3% Boston Scott. Is that, what's 3% of, if you play 100 lineups, it's like $45. Is it worth $45 of my hard-earned money? To have Boston Scott in the cap. I uh, probably not, right? But I don't know. <laughs> you know, you've just seen so much when you do uh when you do these showdowns. I'm probably just gonna end up leaving it if this is what it comes down to. Um, and as a matter of fact, I mean this is actually a pretty good place to to stop. You know what I mean? Like this is this is a this is more reasonable of, of a set of a 19 geo mean filtered set this is much more reasonable than I, that I've been used to in the last several weeks of, of doing show that I've, I've had all kinds of craziness if I wanted a 19 geo mean. So 
I might just roll with this or something like this. The only thing, again, I have to decide is whether I really want the Boston Scott stuff or if I want to bump up, like Will Disley, for example. I think Will Disley is like a legitimate play between him and, and uh, I mean, they do have three wide receivers, I mean, three tight ends, Fant, Disley, and uh, uh, Parkinson. So I do think, I, who do you want more? You want more of the Disley uh, Charbonneau? Not Disley Charbonneau, Disley um, Parkinson or Boston Scott? Julio. I mean, I know at least that those tight ends are going to be on the field. I, I don't know for sure that Boston Scott's going to be on the field. That's that's the thing. Maybe I'll just cap him at five percent and just rerun it. That's that's definitely something that I can do. So I'm just going to save these for now, right? I mean, let's let's just put these in here. Um, So to me, this is this is going to be my decision on the slate is whether to allow the Philadelphia nonsense into the into the lottery. In the Wildcat, I'm looking here, and this is like looks like totally normal, right? Lockett, well, this isn't bad actually. Lockett, Captain Hertz, Swift, AJ Brown, Parkinson. So this is reasonable actually. This is not that chalky, but we'll we'll screw around with that, obviously. But that's, I think, all I have for you guys for now. You know, I don't, you know, it's, uh, the decisions are pretty clear. Uh, hopefully we know who's quarterback sooner than later for Philadelphia. And I think you can, I think you can aim for the optimal here. I really do. And I think you can aim for, for a big payout. We'll see. Uh, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.